you find that there are creatures and stuff that go to a watering hole. They you're ways away from it, like spying it out. Uh, there's a picture of one. It looks like the special effects department splashed a little bit of red paint on a normal pig and said, now it's a new creature, right? Because, you know, they didn't have much money, I guess, to work with. Um, but there's there's one of those taking a drink. You guys are pretty thirsty and stuff. The water doesn't look particularly good, but it is water. It's mostly liquid. Uh, and the weird red splotched pig uh, that I uncovered the picture of uh, hasn't died yet, so maybe. We also need to eat soon. Well, yes, you could try to beat this pig thing with your branch if you want to do, I suppose. You're Can you not... hunt by any chance? <laughs> no. And I would never harm this cute little piggy. <laughs> Are you a vegan? Yes. <laughs> uh, why don't you go up some berries or something? Hmm. <laughs> Do you have a survival jungle there, Dana Zool? Not jungle. I have forest. You can try forest at half or negative 30, whichever is better for you. And look around. You look around. Um. After you try that, I'll give uh, you another roll on natural history or botany, whichever you prefer. Nope, did not find any berries right here. Cool, try that natural history or botany, your choice. Natural history. Mm -hmm. Yes, wow. I did make it. <laughs> uh, this is kind of weird because um, for some reason you got a crit on that. You're seeing a wide variety of stuff from like the Paleozoic, Crustaceous, etc. It looks like somebody said, I want a bunch of different bushes from, you know, the old days. And they kind of mixed them around without any rhyme or reason. So things that are growing together that shouldn't be, like there's bamboo and ferns and, you know, etc., etc., etc. Oh, he's wanting the link again, I'll bet. Hold on a second. Copy and paste. Haha. -ha. So, uh, yeah, this is making it harder because you're really not sure, like a few million years ago, what would be good to eat and what wouldn't. So, this is like a big variety of a whole bunch of different time eras. Uh huh. Exactly. Can you hear us now, Scott? I'm thinking his headphones are fucked. Well, we can hear him. So I'm assuming maybe his um headphone jack might be fucked. Because mm. we can hear him. The fuck. <clears throat> Weird. There you go. All right. So, well, while he attempts to sort himself out, uh, apparently Glenn is doing a lot of deep thinking. Um, <laughs> um, there's no dinosaurs around the water hole, just a pig? Not yet, there aren't. From here, you've got uh, a couple of choices. You can either go the jungle that direction, or you could head over to um, toward the mountains. Hmm. Dana, do you have any um, bottles or containers to carry some water with us? Um, I've got a water bottle. Oh, yeah. It's probably one of those kind of that like look a little bit space agey that people like to pick up at Starbucks and then go running for 50 miles until they get hit by a bus or something. <laughs> yeah, it is. Nice. <laughs> well, Perfect. If right. we're going to be traveling, we need at least water. Mm -hmm. So, um, what do you say we carefully go grab some and then figure out our next move from there? That sounds all right. Looks mm -hmm. like I've got to work around. Oh, can you hear us now, Scott? Yep. 
I'm so happy. I'm like a little schoolgirl again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so just to update you, we're like... Why well, you updated just, my very back real quick? We're just a ways away from this watering hole. There seems to be some painted red pig thing and some other little, little animals. No dinosaurs. Uh, we couldn't find any berries or anything, because all the plants are weird. Well, Dana can tell you about that. And, uh, yeah. We're, uh, we're about to go get some water, because we're thirsty. So, yeah. Okay. If you, if you have any ideas. Got a little bit of food and water in my pack. Oh, okay. And then some, some containers. There's also mountains that we can go to as well. Bigger picture of... I'd like to find out if this is the jungle of our vision of terrifying multidimensional army. About to attack all realities. Be good to know. Um, probably any type of reconnaissance setup needs to be based around water. So. Yeah. Um, do you, by any chance, know how much water your bottle holds? Like a liter or half a liter? Ten mile run worth. Ten mile. <laughs> That's not... <laughs> it's like... <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's not huge. All right, no worries. Yeah. By the way, Scott, you may need new headphones or something, is my guess. Pardon needing a new computer, so i definitely try the headphones first. Yeah. By the way, uh, as a side note, Matt does want to game with you guys, but he had to cancel for a day and play tomorrow because the last day that his father is going to be in the country, so... Scott, please don't inflate your microphone with your nose because it will kill me. Kill me. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Um, so, right. Uh, you guys are going to head which way? Toward the mountains or toward a uh, different part of the jungle? Well, we need water, so... Well, oh, yeah. no. Dana, Dana's got a water bottle and stuff. Actually, Dana, give me a luck roll for something here. You're a lucky girl, right? We'll see. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I am. The the water bottle's already full. You look at him oh. and go. Perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, do we know how much, well, how long that would last, the three of us? If you were an outdoors guy, you would have an idea. For you right now, you're thinking, I don't drink that much water in a day. But I've never hiked through a jungle before either with three people. So, mm -hmm. Can we see the mountains from where we are? That way, yes. They look high and jagged and evil. Well, I'm no outdoorsy person. Do you guys think we need more water, or would that be enough? Do you want me to try to make a roll off of how long will this the water that we currently have last? Absolutely. Unless you personally have an idea. As you're just saying, they're sweating buckets in this jungle. <laughs> just sweat rolling down your back, and you know. Um. Did you want that to be survival forest at half again, or? I'll, I'll go for survival forest at full. Sure. All right. Yep. Uh, you're thinking that if you can get through the morning with what's in there, you're doing pretty good. Uh, the trick is not to ration it, but to have everybody drink it because it always does the best inside of people. Hopefully you can find more water. If you can't, then, you know, you've got a couple of days maybe before everybody dies. I pass on that knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> so basically we need more water. Okay. Not until the morning. Hmm. She drinks uh, water then just to be a dick. She's like, look, I have water in real life, too. Ha, ha, ha. 
Uh, well, it's up to you if you want. As Glenn mentioned, he had some stuff we could use if you want to. It's a backpack not full of water, to the best of my knowledge. Um, I've got a bunch of water containers. Give me a lick and rolls as he says that. Purification tablets. Mm. Do you carry water containers around with you? They're like the plastic bladder ones. Hmm. Empty right now, I'm guessing, because otherwise your backpack would weigh a yeah. ton. Good. Good. Who else makes their listen roll? Yep. Nice. Did Scott make his listen roll? Or didn't he hear? If he didn't hear me, he failed it. Anyway, <laughs> you made it. Oh, okay. You guys hear something coming. Freddie seems oblivious to it. Sounds like it's big enough where you can, you know, almost feel it in your soles of your feet. Something is coming. Stop. He goes. Hide. Take cover. <laughs> yeah, all right. Jeez. Everybody give me stealth rolls as you take cover in the thick bushes and foliage and ferns. Yes. Yes. If one person fails, then everybody I fails. Hate my life. Perfect. Ugh. So. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, it's fine. Fuck it. No, you can hear what happens first. Mm -hmm. yeah. A pretty, pretty good sized dinosaur steps out of the jungle, and the, the pigs have already fucked off. They're like, nope. I heard something coming. And it comes in and it's bending down to drink some water. And then, not quite a fumble, which makes me sad. It, it drinks some water. Freddie's standing there. <laughs> dramatically. The you two are in the bushes going, we know who's going to die first in the outdoors. Freddie's just standing there. He's holding like one little fern leaf in front of his face. <laughs> and then the dinosaur, after it drank some, looks around carefully to make sure nothing's going to come and eat it. It, it uh, wait a second. It kind of does a backward squatting type thing. And it slowly gets this look on its dinosaur face. Oh, no. Could everybody give me a Sandy roll for dinosaurs unless you have it maxed out? It's on your character sheet. This is a bad time to lose your mind, but Freddy's getting ready to start screaming at it. How much if you didn't make it? If you didn't make it, it's only on this one, D6. If you make it, it's uh, one point toward dinosaur. Oh, oh, yeah, D6, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I'm at 40. Glenn just looks at you as you're standing there holding this so, on your face. I have a question. You don't pick up a new insanity. You've already got two, so your 40 is already picked up. You've already got it from before when you went under it, and your 30 is already picked up. So the only way you will get new insanity is if you have 20. They're like toggle switches. Once they're on, until until a psychoanalyst turns them off, type thing. Okay. So. Uh, fine, right? fine, fine. Cool. Oh no! You you. Oh wait! Did you uh um lose them? Did somebody give you psychoanalysis before? Yeah. Oh okay. Um, because the firefighting was kind of lame. Let's do the other one first. Okay. Cool. cool. He, good news, he begins to slowly back away from the watering hole and he kind of does the standing behind a tree that's too thin for him. You guys smile as you guys watch this dinosaur take this tremendous shit next to the watering hole and then it kind of does a full body shimmy afterward and then it wanders off. Because of course it does. Dinosaur shit where they eat. Mm -hmm. No wonder they, they went extinct. <laughs> you get the card for that. Yep. There's your card. Cool. So. All right. Uh, yeah, I just look at the water and suddenly I am no longer thirsty. 
Let's go to those mountains. <laughs> water is bad. <laughs> didn't shit water the water, right? Really no, no, right next to it, but it's precarious enough. If you want to go and kick it into it, you probably could. Mm -hmm. Things will probably eat it. Yeah. So, um, no, no problem. You guys, uh, um, Get some water while the coast's clear. I'd like to look for tracks. Excellent. I'm Give gonna... me a track roll. Um, I do like like where I am. water, water thing. Freddie, where are you doing? She's looking at the ground. He's filling up water. You're hiding behind a very thin tree. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to help her look for tracks and stuff. Give me a tracking roll. She's examining the ground, so you examine the ground. I'm not finding anything. She doesn't, yeah, she <laughs> wanders around. She shows her stomping out all these tracks. Yeah, fuck these tracks over here. You find a bunch of different tracks, Freddie. Uh, you're thinking there's some, lots of those pig things, uh, some dinosaurs like that one, and you realize that you're actually then standing in a track just one track and you're like, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I, point them out. I point them out and I'm like, let's not follow the dinosaur ones. But if we follow it, we'll be behind it. Unless it's going and oh good point actually. Dana's but what if it turns around? Right. It'll never turn around in a circle. Don't worry about that. When we saw the pigs, were they acting like pigs or were they acting intelligent? Uh, these were acting just like normal pigs. Just okay. splashed some red paint on a normal pig and set it loose in the jungle type thing for reasons. So you guys begin heading toward the mountains. No problem. You've got you've got water. Everybody's now, I'm guessing, carrying some to keep from over over encumbering Glenn. Or you can over encumber him and laugh him. I don't care. Uh, you guys head up into the uh, the mountains here, and uh, right, you are at the at the base of the mountains. If you want to go up, there'll be a climbing at plus twenty because there's a lot of gentle slopes and stuff. But if you've got some sort of binoculars or something like that, then you could possibly get a, a more of a look around. Okay. Otherwise, you just see a lot of neat jungle scenes and shit. Does Glenn carry binoculars? Yes. Cool. Do does Glenn want? To, do you want to climb up there on your own or with other people? Or uh, I'm gonna climb if they want to come with. Climbing roll plus twenty for anybody who'd like to go up with him. It's plus twenty. Yes. Hate it. All right, I'll go up alone. Yes. He, he didn't look like he was going to go, but then everybody else started going, and it's like, hey, do I want to stay here by myself? Or <laughs> no problem. Uh, let's see how he does on his climbing. The I'm curious if if he's gonna if he's gonna get a full body drag down the side of some mountain here. He climbs like a fucking monkey. You guys are now up on top of the mountain. Um, Glenn, did you say if you had binoculars or no? I do. All right. Just curious. I don't know if you're wanting to use them or not. but Spot hidden. Okay. Uh, well, actually, uh, you take a look around, um, and you can see, like, if you look one direction, then it kind of like, uh, there's generally speaking, it looks like there's a giant rip in the earth uh, that's got like uh, no vegetation close to it. And it's got some sort of bridge thing across it. You can't really tell gray from here. This guy is kind of distant even with binoculars. And there's some light jungle and some structures that are on the west. Um, and that's one of the possible directions you can go. I call it crevasse. Or... Um, there's also some sort of weird structure not too far away in the mountains here that you can kind of spot from where you're at. And then also you see, as you're looking uh, north through the binoculars, you see the back of your own head and the other two people standing next to you as apparently this area isn't big. Give me a sandy roll for space-time distortion unless you have that maxed out. 
<laughs> the look on his face. I want a fucking collage of all the what the fuck looks that he's ever given. Hey, sanity. Oh, what, what sanity? You'll get that maxed out eventually. It'll be fun. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Oh, good times, good times. So uh, what the structure near you looks like is this. It kind of, it comes to almost a point. Uh, that picture is right above where you guys were sleeping. Some sort of obelisk? Yes. Yes, exactly. It comes. It it doesn't come to a point. It comes. It has like a flat top on it that you'll get to see a picture of later. It looks like it's uh, say uh, one and a half to two times as tall as you are. So those are essentially your three wow. different uh, possibilities, other than going back the way you came. Glenn looks shaken as he puts down the binoculars. He's like, <laughs> uh, did, did Dana want to make that um, to figure out if this is the same jungle as the one we saw in that vision? Or ah, I do want to she, figure that out. <laughs> she did mention that. She did. Sure. Give me a uh, memory roll of plus 10 as the memories are burned fresh and bright into your mind like a tiger in the jungle. Oh, that's very helpful. Yes. 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 You believe that uh, it's definitely similar, if not the same. Um, about the vision, I wanted to ask if uh, we recognized any of the the Zog or the three people. Uh, do you know? Do you know what Zog me? looks like? Well. I wanted to ask if we recognized any of those people in the vision from the lightsaber prison we found underground, the person in stasis there. You did see him. Excellent. I'm giving you a card. Yeah, he used to be the, the, the leader of all of this stuff. Looks like the guy who was in the stasis prison in the sewers of disappointment in the lightsaber jail, as you call it. Apparently... Somebody must have freed him. Who would do such a horrible thing to let <laughs> <laughs> What was that? Damn it, Matt. <laughs> hey, sorry. <laughs> I'd give Matt a card if he was at the table. But, um, <laughs> so, yes, uh, who can say what? who mm. perpetrated such evil upon the entire multiverse? Sounds like a naughty hey. individual to you. Anybody want a assistant D6 damage before I pitch it? No. No, thank you. Does anyone want a stat rearrange? Thank you. Stat rearrange? Yeah. Uh, I have no use for it right now. Oh, uh, end of adventure only. Never mind. I don't want it now. Scott, stop breathing into your microphone, you horrible man. Yes, you must do this all the time. <laughs> You're not allowed to look down ever. No. <laughs> Show Scott examining his notes. Uh, I'll, I'll pass on the stay at rearrange. Okay. So. You guys are on the mountain of uh, mildly disturbing uh, Glenn. He doesn't offer the binoculars to anybody else, apparently. He just puts them down and goes, hmm. And Daniel's in the look. background going, hmm. <laughs> But I tell him not to look that way. Well, that's <laughs> scary. Right. Um, Who would like to look that way dis despite what he said? <laughs> I, I, just look the the, I just look down. I'm not, no. He doesn't even look. He, he's using the binoculars on his feet. He's like, these are not great shoes for the jungle, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he loses zero savvy from looking at his feet <laughs> so far. So. Right, so to the north, there was the obelisk. 
uh, it's close close by on a different mountain. If you go far enough north, apparently you'll be south again. Okay, that's the because way you don't. Want to go. Yeah, that's the bad way. North is north is bad. West is the light jungle with structures by the crevasse. Yes, past the crevasse. The crevasse uh, is splitting the east and the west. By the way, you guys don't know which direction is which. I'm merely telling you that is convenience. Well, there was a sunrise, right? There was, but you don't know if the sun rises in the east, west, north, south, or... Well, we're going to call that east. Fair enough. <laughs> for, con <laughs> for convenience, I'm not going to sit there and make everybody learn new directions, okay? I have no idea which direction the sun comes from here. It just shows up and goes... <laughs> Fortunately, it's not just like a single screaming face, which would be ah, <laughs> rising slowly. That would be a bad sunrise. Time for Tubby Custard. Mm -hmm. okay. You said there were three ways to go. Either uh, the weird structure here in the mountains, the crevasse, or back to whence ye came. Uh, well, yeah. my vote is the obelisk. I don't know about you. Yeah. It's not far. It's not even a roll. Pretty much you just wander over to you're you're going through some rough terrain and stuff, but it's seeable from where you're at. Yeah, so over there? Yes. Yeah, while you're up here and all. You guys head over. It looks like it's made of, as you can see on the picture, some sort of weird metal you are not familiar with. And it's doing absolutely nothing. It's just hanging out here. The show I don't recognize the metal from post apocalypse. Uh, no, you you don't, unfortunately. Okay. Cool. Do you have Just metallurgy that. skill? I might tell you more if you have specialized <laughs> metallurgy skill. Actually, no. everybody has metallurgy skill. Everybody roll metallurgy. Get those checks and learn, people. Sure. Yeah. Hold on. Unless you have a 20, in which case you don't want to check and learn. You just can nope. ignore the check. You can still make the roll, but you can ignore the check. Seems shiny to you. Not horribly shiny, but ah, Sheila, it's actually, you figured it out. This is actually a big chocolate thing. It's wrapped in that foil. She's <laughs> like picking at it, trying to like remove it because, you know, some chocolate here in the jungle sounds amazing. Mm. Freddy, Freddy's like, is it? <laughs> because apparently he doesn't go outside much. Well, um, we poke it with a stick. All right. Um, no problem. You, uh, Freddie has a stick handy, actually. I hand one over to you. You've only got the one, as far as I'm aware. He gives you a stick, a poking <laughs> stick. It could be a corpse poking stick if you guys play your cards right. <laughs> I commenced the poking. All right. It, it feels like you're touching a structure. It's not squishy at all, like it would be if it was melty chocolate. <laughs> and it's like, because mm, mm, you know, some people like chocolate. So um, I grab my stethoscope and I'm going to listen to it. Excellent. He pulls out his stethoscope and begins to get it closer and closer to the metal. I stand back. <laughs> <laughs> you want to touch it? Well, I'm not going to touch it. A stethoscope no, isn't you, you have to to use a stethoscope. You've never gotten to play with one. Next time you go to a doctor's office or something, ask to play with their stethoscope. It is amazing. <laughs> you have to touch it to a surface and hold it there in order to hear stuff. It doesn't work good. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I'm not going to be touching with my skin the obelisk. Ah, oh, so you're going to touch the metal with the stethoscope with the metal or foil. Of yeah. The, all right. There's a soft <laughs> clink. Give me a listen roll, because whatever it is, even with the stethoscope, is difficult to hear. Uh -huh. Wow, a very faint thrumming, like like it's powered or something. <gasps> Guys, I think this this is some sounds like it's powered by something. Um, 
Are there signs of um electrical cables running on the ground? I would tell you if there was a light. I'm not that horrible. I mean, unless they're super well hidden. You guys kick around the dirt and stuff. No, there's no electric. Now, there could be electrical cables coming right up from underneath. You have no idea. Is there any tracks around here? Um, give me a tracking roll. You look around. I mean, aside from your tracks. Fail. Yeah, Dana's probably managed to clear them all by now. She I did. Ah. <laughs> no. She doesn't like it the mess. It was the regular fail. Okay. Everybody closely examines the ground. Um, yeah, nobody got a fumble because I was going to have you find some human tracks and start going in a circle around it. But no. <laughs> oh my God, another one's joined him. <laughs> a bird. This is incredible. Yeah, it just a perfectly normal pylon in the middle of the mountains. Well, I have no idea what this is. Hmm. I'm going to touch it. Island. Well, I'm not going to touch it. You touch take it. it. Take I'm touching being... it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take charge for being the first brave person. Where would you like to touch it? Uh, it has some design in it. So that's where I'm touching. Are you talking that's about the big diamond design? Yes. Right. I stand back, by the way. <laughs> she touches it there, just, <clears throat> and then it kind of goes, and it, it disappears. So now it looks like, oops, either one of these. Ooh. Inside, from here, you can see it looks like some sort of table, about waist high with multiple multi-colored stones red blue green yellow seem to be about a dozen of each apparently organized in a very random pattern they seem to be lit up you're not sure if the stones themselves are a light or if they're lit up from underneath huh what else is on the inside anything on the walls or on the floor. Um, you can't really see from here. It appears to be dark inside. Oh. Except for the, the weird um, stone table thing that is uh, uh, lit up. Looks like you can just step right in there. Absolutely it does. It looks <laughs> like it's very possible. I am going to try to commit to memory the pattern of the stones. You concentrate on it. No roll required until it's time to try to put them back to where where they came from. <laughs> then there'll be a roll and a reckoning. <laughs> so. All right. Well, first thoughts is, oh, get me in there. <laughs> you can step in there right now if you wanted to. But before I do, and instantly it closes on me and I die... Okay. <laughs> My thoughts were <laughs> that um, Burlington had a whole bunch of dinosaur army things march through. This yeah. place has a whole bunch of time things happening at the same. So perhaps in this zone, there's some you know, play with opening and shutting gates between places. So that's what I'm imagining this might have to do with. Hmm. Hmm. So if I start touching things after it closes on me, I don't know, like space guard, like the handy uh, spaceship just like plummets down on you guys or something. That would be fucking great. I mean, <laughs> oh, no. Oh. I, I just want to toss a small pebble inside before she walks in. Does anything happen? It bounces <laughs> ominously on the ground. Okay. I do the whole um, hand gesture after you, madam. <laughs> <laughs> Chivalry is not dead. 
Um, Definitely dying, though. <laughs> Is there only room for one? Oh, no. No, no. It looks <laughs> like you could get all three people in there, maybe. Well, somebody needs to keep a lookout. <laughs> okay, chivalry is dead. I'm sorry. I step in. You go inside. He's standing there, and then he looks around. He goes, "Give me a sandy roll. It's much bigger on the inside than the outside." <laughs> Ooh. Time and space. Yeah. Looks like you're going to max that shit out sooner rather than later. Maxing it out right now. Uh, We lost a. What's the damage? D6. Less if you uh, are. No, only one. How many points do you have left to go? I've got. That makes 12 out of 14. Ah, so you're not going to lose your fucking shit if. uh, But still, imagine you making that face when you discover you lost more (laughs) sand. Very satisfying. (laughs) <laughs> um, he's just banging in there looking a little frustrated and angry normal it's bigger on the inside <laughs> I'm going to put a stick across the doorway <laughs> before I the toucher of the thing get in that I will help a great alien tech yes a stick <laughs> yeah totally I'll be able to pry the door open with the stick later <laughs> Sure. I mean, even though the door kind of wavered and then disappeared. Yeah. Sure. Okay. I climb in. All right. Give me a sandy roll, space time distortion thing. Same as him. Only one point if you make it. All right. All right. Freddy stands outside and looks at you guys like. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to watch. Unless they disappear. I'll let you know when they do. All right. <laughs> then you will watch us disappear. <laughs> and be left on your own, which is outstanding. Here's a picture of a close-up of the weird gems on the uh, thing. Uh, that picture is underneath the pig, if you're looking for it. Hmm. I know that in the picture they may not have exactly 12 of each, but, you know, they do. Oh, those egg sized what? Are they egg sized? Uh, no, they, they appear to be about the size of uh, D20s. Oh, okay. Glenn, do you have a camera? Uh, or can we take pictures with our I handy have... wristwatch? I don't yeah, it doesn't do that. Takes pictures. I don't think it does. Big gift to work. The, the guy who can make it take pictures is actually afraid to come in. So. If it can take pictures, he's like, yeah, yeah. I, I, I step from outside. I step back out. You come out without Freddy, any issue at all. Freddie, can you yeah. show me how to use my picture taking thing? Uh, I mean, it's not really designed to do that, but I can try. Uh, uh, you you already know that you need to crack it open and tinker with a lot of uh, technology that is super high tech. So you need parts and uh, like a lab and cool cool uh, stuff to see really small things and soldering and all that kind of shit. But then then maybe it can take pictures, depending on how well you do. Let's see if my phone works. <laughs> hey, you brought your phone. No signal, but the phone boots right up. No problem at all. All right. No roll even, nothing. Just boop, it's up. <sighs> you say, at last. I can cruise the internet. Smash. <laughs> <laughs> I can totally see Glenn doing that, too. Yeah, I really like that, too. Huh? Right, take a picture. Sorry. All right, thanks, Freddie. <laughs> no worries. I'll be out here if you need me. <laughs> I get back in. Freddie, give me a listen roll. I hate you so much. I know. <laughs> Turns out it's a spaceship and it blasts off. That'd be fucked up. It just shows me getting fucking fried. Oh yeah, that's that's the thing about this campaign is I've got there's a few places where if you're in it, it's like no save death. It's like boop. 
because you can resurrect, so you just you know should know better. Freddie fails to hear anything. You two inside, uh, listen at half or negative thirty because it's kind of a weird. Uh, it's almost like you're a little disconnected from the outside. Nope. She made it. Ah, she hears like a clicking noise, possibly from his fucking camera. Um, you think from outside you hear a very faint, big flapping thing. You know, like flapping. Like leathery wings flapping. I stick my head out and try to pull him inside. <laughs> Give me a grapple roll. Get in. He goes, ah. Freddy, Freddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made it. Okay, now, Freddy, what's what's your strength? Uh, 60 something. 60 something. What's your strength, Glenn? 75. Uh, it's about 15 swings. So, uh, right. Freddie, roll a 35 or less to stay outside. On the strength? Uh huh. Um, he seems rooted to the spot. You can, uh, the most you can do is molest his clothing, but he just stands there and looks at you like, what? Are you, and it shows you like tying a tie on him and he's like, no, I don't want to tie. <laughs> did you say anything or did you just? I said, get in. There's a bird. Oh, a bird? No, 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 no. Wait, what kind of bird? The little one or the big one? It's a big, huge flapping bird that I could hear from inside. Oh, but if it's, I don't want to go if it's inside. <laughs> It's not that big on the inside. It's maybe double the size or something. <laughs> it is big enough to get a camera crew comfortably in there in order to film you, though. There you is might a... die out there. I might die in there. Fine. <laughs> I'll step in. Give me a sanity roll, because that's what you've been waiting for. Yeah. I mean, on the plus side, I'm all this next out on this. Yay! Wait until you get cold blooded killing, gross out, and human gore maxed out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm maxed out. Yay. Right. I uh, you're inside with everybody else. You feel super bad. So um, yeah. Did I get my picture? Uh you check it? Yes. Ah. Uh -huh. It's one for the ages. Do the stones look like precious stones or? No, they, they look like uh, uh, kind of cheap plastic bobble type stones, but big, like D20s, but completely round, no numbers. Hmm. Um, they, they are almost plastic. light? Yes. Uh, quick question. I only had three points left on my thing. Do I lose four on my sanity or three? Three. three. Okay. Uh, yep, you only lose it up to the max, and now space time no longer bothers you. So anytime okay. I still make a sandy roll for space time, you go maxed. I hate this. Okay, cool. <laughs> so you guys are hanging out around the table of death. I mean, around the gem colored table thing. Yes. Is there anything else in here? Nothing at all. Oh, a small pebble and half of a stick. <laughs> Uh, are the stones themselves glowing, or is the table illuminating the stones? Hard to say. Hard to say. So does anyone want to touch it, or? I'll touch it. Um, you think it's like a control panel of some sort? Or a circuit board? Or a very confusing board game. <laughs> She's on fire. So there's how many rows? Yeah, maybe Four it's a rows of three. Game. There's uh, there's uh, forty-eight this. total stones. So uh, what was that? Forty-eight total stones. Forty-eight total. Okay. Yes. Uh, Twelve each: red, blue, yellow, green. They seem carefully laid out in some sort of uh, quasi-random pattern. 
Oh, quasi random. Okay. I thought oh. they were like in a row. No, no. That's why he took a picture of them. Otherwise, he'd remember blue, then green, etc. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anybody can remember four things, but remembering this, yeah. You know. Try to find three in a row. <laughs> you win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, you notice that the uh, the table itself has small indents in it, kind of like a box of chocolates. Imagine a box of chocolates, and these are laid into them, and uh, they're. Oh, sorry. They're about each of the stones is about the size of a walnut, smallish walnut. You there be chocolate buttons? in here? <laughs> Are there any buttons on the wall or on the table? There's or nothing else. It, it's kind of almost a, a darkness that you're not sure if you were to walk that way, you would hit the wall or not. You're hoping uh, not to find out though. But here near the table, it's safe. Hmm. I'm, I'm going to turn one of them. You're the red one. One, you, you, right. You touch it and it kind of goes and kind of glows a little bit brighter and then goes back to normal. I, I pick the red one up. You pick it up. It's still glowing. Huh. Put on a glove. <laughs> Okay. Is it uh, I pick up a blue one. Okay, you've got a blue one. Then I put it where his red one was. I put the red one where the blue one was. Okay, so basically you guys are fucking with it. <laughs> no problem. You... I look out the door. <laughs> uh, right, outside of the uh, door, you can see, give me a luck roll, Dana. Mm, it's close, but did I make it? Nope. You seem to be in some sort of land of fucking volcanoes. Uh, lava flows right by the door. Um, you're not feeling anything from in here, but you're pretty sure if you were to stick your face out of the door, if the heat is there, then it will literally kill you instantly because humans can't get that close to actual lava. This is not appearing to be movie lava. And um, yeah, it looks like shitload of volcanoes and stuff like that. Um, give me a spot hidden roll there, Dana. Completely different place. Uh huh. Nope. She looks around, and goes, mm, lots of lots of uh, volcanoes going off, like small ones, big ones, just spewing out the lava as opposed to blasting a mountain around. I shout it back to them. Um, are we if, in any danger right now, Dana? Or? Seems like in here it's okay, but I wouldn't step out. So if you wanted to take a picture and add the caption of in the middle of a lava flow. There's... Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Take a picture. Got it. There's what, six colors? Four. Four colors. So you make four rows of 12. Well, uh, you know, you noticed also, by the way, when you just touch the stone, not wearing gloves there before, when you wore gloves, nothing happened. But Alex, when you touch stone, not wearing gloves, it kind of went bang and like, like it turned on type thing. Um, yeah. Uh, you're oh, hmm? you're not even sure you'd have to take them out of the slots that they're in. I want to touch like... Well, first of all, I want to put them back where they were, the blue and the red one. Just right, outside uh, the scene kind of blurs and you're back where you were. Oh. 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 To be, uh, did we get tarot cards when we were in the volcano? No. No. Okay. Guys, I think this is some kind of reality Altering device. 
or something. Um, transporter. Yeah. Or that. A vessel. So this wraparound jungle that we're now back at isn't very big. Do we? Do I see? And there wasn't anything that was volcano-y, though. Uh, not that you saw, no. Yeah. Um, what does it smell like in here? There, uh, aside from you guys, there appears to be zero smell in here. And you guys do not smell happy. Even though the door's open, there's no jungly smell. Correct. Hmm. Okay. Oh, by the way, Dana, since you were keeping lookout, do you have space-time distortion maxed? Uh, not yet. Go for a Sandy roll. Might be that time. All right, made it. Zero. You go, meh, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> You're not even worried. You're like, meh. All right, well, make a note. Put in the red one and the blue one over there equals what he knows. He's already got a picture of it. Cool. Okay. You guys look at it. You feel a lot like uh, chimpanzees right now experimenting with the AK-47 that somebody carelessly left on the trail. Can we try another one? <laughs> uh, what happens if I just touch a few of them without moving them? Would you like to try it? No. Oh. But did anything... When, so you said when I touched the red one, it made a sound? No, it just lit up. Oh, it just lit up. Okay. A little brighter. It's already lit up, but it lit up brighter. Okay. I want to touch the red and the blue one, the same ones, but not move them. I understand no you. Basically, you begin experimenting. Uh, Dana, give me a new Sandy rope as various unwholesome <laughs> realities flip by. No problem. Was expecting this. Excellent. And uh, let's see, uh, Alex, uh, give me give me a, uh, fortunately, you've got camera guy sitting there and he's like, okay, touch him back in this reverse order and stuff because he's got a little movie thing going so you can keep track of all your moves. Um, go ahead and give me a uh, luck roll there, Alex. I want something at negative 60 or a quarter. Oof, okay. Every fucking place this seems to take you is like the vacuum of space, uh, inside of uh, uh, some sort of rock, uh, et cetera. It's just pretty much step out and die places seems to be the world tour here. He's, he's over there. He's making noises as he touches them. <laughs> um, does it only work when two of them are touched? No, it take, it's multiple longer strings and stuff usually because sometimes you okay. a couple and nothing happens. So it's weird quasi-random stuff. Uh, however, through your experimentation, I will now allow uh, uh, the two guys who are watching the stuff that he's hitting to attempt a roll at learn for a new skill if you have it. Or if you can make it. So good luck. Uh, okay. Nope. No, that's no good. And you know what? I'm going to play this skill five card. Sure. Why not? Nope. Groovy. I will play a reroll. Damn. Damn and blast. Don't ruin Logan's fun. <laughs> cool. Mm, yeah. I know that doesn't make you learn, so all is well. Yay! What I want to do is arrange them so, like, all the red ones are together over here, all the green ones, all the yellow ones, all the blue give me, ones. Give me an evidence analysis role for uh, thought. Can I help him with that? 
Sure. You can you can try your own one. He's like, I'm starting to do it. Okay. Nope. Okay. Yep, so fast. You're not sure if just because it's red, if it's not a unique red, even though they look the same. And so if he does that, you won't know exactly which one goes back into which red spot because all the red ones look exactly the same. So you may be lost in space time and all die. I let him know. Okay. Here, take a video of me doing it. <laughs> Can we mark them? Uh, with what? Good question. Good follow-up question. If you have little stickers and shit, then, you know, put, like, numbers off. You may make a little note to put get little stickers to think that. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. Does somebody want to look out into the abyss and see if they see anything interesting in any of these places? Sounds like you're volunteering. No, not step out. You guys haven't looked out the window, and maybe, you know, I haven't been such a good tracker lately. Unless there's a Starbucks, I'm not interested. You're not even interested in windows? <laughs> <laughs> windows lead to the outside. <laughs> I got what she was after. <laughs> Computer guy, windows, you yeah. know. Uh, um, so are you writing want... an album while he's filming you then, Scott? Is that what you're up to? What was that? You're arranging all of them while he's filming you? Is that what you're up to? Yes. No problem. Glenn's OCD has finally had enough, and he sticks them all <laughs> into their own orders. <laughs> Outside, it is just black. Black, black, black. The uh, all of the uh, stones begin to fade. Uh oh. Uh, put them back. Put them back. I replay the video. I replay uh, the video. All right. Um. So he, he well he's playing it, but he has to keep stopping because he he doesn't have a reverse video on this phone. So right. Uh. In order to do this really complicated backward thing now. I'm going to need Scott to, oh, uh, you can give me, what kind of role would you like to make on how to put shit back quickly and efficiently? Dexterity? Um, yeah, but I need something more mental than that, like uh, doing this, and then no, I did this and this. We could go for memory or... Whatever it is, I'm helping. Yes, excellent. Um... Press the digitation. Well, it's not how fast you're, you're doing it fast. I'm assuming that, but it's more of a mental. This came from here. This came from here. I don't know. Our mental stat is learning. Is it evidence Wait, analysis? Isn't there an intelligent? No, there is an intelligence one. Yeah, let's go with memory because that way he can give you a long, complicated set of instructions and then you can. Do it. Any bonuses from the video? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll give him a plus 10 bonus from video. And if you can make your memory, it gets an hour plus five. And she's watching outside for traps, which you may oh, have <laughs> He gives you a negative 10 off of your shit. So he negates the video. Face death. He yells uh, communist slogans at you for some reason. <laughs> Very confusing. <laughs> Made it. Despite all oh. of this, <laughs> I'm yelling, party, work and power to the people. You're like, I ah, have fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> it's all back normal, shit slip, outside jungle. Everybody give me a danger sense, six sense roll. Mm, no. Uh, what is it? What is Everything's it? fine. Yes. You feel like you just got done playing I want to tap the crocodile on the nose and make it really angry. <laughs> <laughs>